Hello Internet, in this video I want to introduce the Unity Recorder, which is this project I found from uh, Unity. And what it does is it is a frame recorder for Unity, which you can manipulate, hopefully, at least we're going to try, to manipulate this so we can record video from Unity and get it exported as an actual video file that we can use for cinematics or whatever else we want. So. This is my scene. It's just a super simple lighthouse. Uh, there's a Archimatics lighthouse, and then we're using our fake volumetric light to kind of get the, the light going like that. And so this works. It's super simple, and there's some noticeable motion, which should be useful for us. Uh, then there's this recorder, which is I've downloaded the fork or I've downloaded a copy of that Unity frame recorder and imported it here. We're going to be using this to actually do our work. Uh, I'm going to kind of walk through the settings and then we'll try to export it. And then I'm going to try to import that into Premiere and actually get a video out of it. I don't know how well that's going to work. We're going to, we're going to have to see, but that's the goal. So currently, there's only one way to record, which is an image sequence. Uh, they do talk about the architecture and stuff on that GitHub page. And it is possible to plug in your own recorder type if you want to. Uh, so if you want to directly encode into MP4, you could write that. Um, it'd be a bit of work, but that's an option. Here we have some of the inputs, so you can take it from the camera, you can take in off-screen rendering or a render texture if you're using that. You can do whatever you prefer. There's also the resolution, so you can film in like 240p or low quality. And then you can get all the way up to like 8k, which is a lot. <laughs> um, I don't really know how well this is going to work. So let's just do 1080p. For now, that'll be just like standard-ish high definition. You can give it an aspect ratio. Let's do like 16 by 9. I think that makes sense. Uh, we can capture the alpha, which will take the alpha channel and actually encode it into the image as well. I don't think we want that. And let's see, what else? We can flip it vertically. Don't know what that does, but we'll keep that checked because that th these are the defaults. Uh, then there's an output format. This is going to capture a series of images and then we're going to have to stitch them together afterwards. That's what Premiere is going to do for us. So we can either do PNG, JPEG, or EXR. I don't know what that last one is, but we're going to keep it at JPEG just because that, that makes the most sense. And now I'm questioning if I accidentally turned on flip vertically. We'll leave it on. If the, if the entire video is upside down, that's just an interesting side effect. Um, then you can give it an output path. Uh, it looks like it's just going to save to the current directory and then put it at uh, recordings. So it'll be like either assets slash recordings or it'll be a directory up from that slash recordings. And then you can give it the file name, which will be our image. And then it will be the number of the image. So in this case, uh, zero, one, two, whatever for each frame. And then also the extension. And then you can set it how many frames to record the, uh, constant versus variable frame rate, which is going to uh, affect how like sound is tracked. You can also set a FPS, which is actually going to impact your game. So if you start setting this to like 60 or 120, um, then you can, it, it's going to slow down or affect your rendering so that you get that kind of resolution, uh, <laughs> which may or may not be what you want. You're going to have to play with that. Uh, other stuff, sync frame rate. Uh, I don't know what that does. I assume that's probably the hold the frame until we get to the correct frame. So this will only run my game at 30 frames per second. Uh, bounds limits. This seems fine. <laughs> I think manual is going to be, we start recording manually. 
Whereas uh, if I switch this to like single frame, it will just capture a frame, frame interval, time interval. No idea what any of that is. So let's, let's test this out and see what happens. Uh, I've never used this tool literally the first time. So we'll get that light going and then I'll click start recording. It's going to start capturing frames. We'll get like a hundred or so. That should be enough to test this. And so that should have put them somewhere. <laughs> Let's go track those down. All right. So here are our images. You can kind of see just from the thumbnails that the light moved, not very far, but the light moved. So we need to go here in Premiere. So if I go to import and look at all my old recording stuff that I keep for <laughs> all the stuff. Ah, uh, shoot, we don't want to do that. I think I've never done this before, but if I select an image sequence, I think it's going to take all of them. But I might be wrong, so let's find out. Cool. So I think we got like three and a half seconds of, of film. So if I actually play this now, we get all of our images as an actual video in Unity. Or from Unity, we just exported a video. Granted, um, I don't know how big this is. Actually, that's not too bad. Each of these images is only like 200 kilobytes. So actually, that's not, that's not very poor performance for what this is. But effectively, uh, I'm not going to go too much more into this. We'll do, we'll do more on this later because I'm probably going to be using this a lot. Uh, but uh, effectively, what this allows you to do is just grab or set up a cinematic scene in Unity and then export that scene and actually get it into a video platform. I don't know how well other uh, video editors handle importing these image effects like that. But uh, it works pretty well in Premiere, and that's that's what I have. So I don't know. One other thing I do want to call out is if you use Unity's timeline system, there's a recorder built specifically for Unity's timeline editor. I've never used it, and I've never done anything with Unity's timeline stuff. But I imagine if you're trying to do like a video or something very choreographed, this is where you'd want to start. And you can actually set all of this up to record based on when the timeline starts. So you get the entire animation caught. But yeah, that's that's sort of what I wanted to cover here. It's sort of quick and short and to the point. But hopefully this is interesting. I know some people were interested in this kind of thing. It doesn't just capture video, unfortunately. But what it does do is make it very easy for you to get video content or stills or whatever else you want uh, out of Unity, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I'll leave it here. If you guys have feedback or suggestions for me, let me know in the comments below. Uh, there will be a link to this screen recorder in the description if you guys want to grab that and test it out yourself. It's pretty easy to get started. I literally just drag and dropped it into this project and we started, we picked up from there. So eight minutes or so to get it all up and running. Not too bad. So yeah, if there's anything else you guys want, let me know in the comments and we can definitely look into that. But that's it for this video. So until next time, see you, internet.